In this video, we will see how to save the SEL file from IDScout software. There are two different methods which we can able to use to save the SEL file. One is via the active connection. When we have the real IED in our network, we can able to connect the IED from the IDScout by using the discover ID option. Otherwise, you can able to open the SEL file and then you can able to go online to the real IED. This is method one when you have the real IED um, available in your network. Another method is you can able to open the SCL file, basically the, the SAD file, and you can able to save the, the individual IED specific file, like the, the IID file for addition to, and then you can also able to download the CID file um, from the IDs code. Let's see one by one. So I have a real ID with me. So let me open the PCM 600. Here I can see there is a RAD 670 IED and it's an addition to and the IP address is 192.168.210.125. I can able to copy the IP address. I can able to go to the discover ID option. I can able to just paste or I can able to manually enter the IP address here. Once you are providing the IP address correctly, then go for discover ID option. Then we can able to see the ID code is connecting to the real ID and it is also discovering the, the configured information related to the goose control block, report control blocks and the setting group support also available in this IED and then we are also able to see the compiled files available in the IED. Those are the disturbance records and we can able to also see the data set details which are configured also the data models these many informations are captured by id scout and we can able to save this scl file to our local pc when i select uh, save scl and i do see an option here to choose the version so in our case we have addition to scl model so we can able to choose the addition to here and the schema version is 3.1, which is the maximum schema supported. And we can able to save this um, SEL file as IID. And then you can also able to save a different SEL file like uh, the SAD file as per our requirement. So in this case, let me save as IID file. So this is the method one. And method two is we can able to just export the SAD file. from PCM 600. So here I will export uh, PCM 600 underscore project file. Let me save this path here and I will try to export the file into edition 2 or edition 2.1 also you can able to export it. And now basically we are exporting the, the complete details which are available in the PCM 600 project. That's basically an SED file which has all the ID part of the project. Now the file has been exported. Let's go here and you can also disconnect the ID when we select uh, online. So it will be getting disconnected. We can able to close the ID. You can come in, coming back to the main screen. There you see an open SEL option. You can able to import the SEL file that we exported here. So let's go data modify. <coughs> and here we see this is the file which I exported, the SED file format. We can able to basically import all different SEL file formats. As we do see here, the six different type of SEL files can be imported if you have a SEL file already. So we have exported the SED file that has many IDs. And let me import all the IDs into IDs code. And the ID that we wanted to save as a CL file, this is the one, which is a A1T1Q02A1. So this is the ID which we wanted to export basically save an SEL file from the CD file. So you can able to select uh, save SEL. Again, you can able to choose the edition here. Then you can able to save. 
so we can able to split the the individual id specific files by importing the cd file from id score so this is how we can able to save the the cl file from the id score so we can able to just say another name for example new and we have able to save the cl file by offline method so the first one is online method when we have real id we can able to discover and save and method to use offline we can able to import the the large number of ids from the scd file and we can able to split uh, the files for the individual id specific files so this is how we can able to save the scl file from id scout In case if you have any more questions, feel free to contact us from our Omicron technical support from our webpage. There you can able to see the different technical support emails. You can able to contact uh, from the location where you are available. So we have different support emails from different regions. So you can able to contact us on this email and the contact number to get more support in case if you need more information on this particular use case. Thank you. Take care.